All right, Pisces, let's see. What is the T for Pisces? Placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Thank you guys for all the support, the likes, the comments, uh, the shares. Um, I appreciate you guys so, so much from the bottom of my heart. So let's see. For Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Jupiter Placement, Pisces. What is the T surrounding the Pisces energy and collective? All right, let's get five cards from what's the T and C. So we got lonely. All right, so someone, well, the player is lonely. Really? We got player and lonely. The player is lonely. Oh. Oh. What else for Pisces? Pisces, you could be the player, you could be lonely, you could be dealing with the player who's lonely. All right, this person may be wanting to come play games with you because you because they're lonely. Okay, this person may even be wanting to play games with you because you seem lonely. So be careful with that. All right, wasting time, stuck, no changes, and limited. So someone here is wasting their time. Uh, they're stuck. They're not changing. Okay. What else? Pisces, curious about you. Yeah, you got someone curious about you. Um, dirty offer. Ooh, be careful for this dirty offer, Pisces. You guys may be getting a dirty offer from a player because they're lonely, okay? And they're curious about you. But this person has not changed, okay? Um, let's use this deck. So show me why lonely is here for Pisces. Some of you guys may be, you know... I don't know if you guys are receiving a dirty offer. Um, I just heard something vibrate. Oh, I did hear it vibrate. What's it say? Okay, anyway, sorry about that. So why is lonely here in Pisces reading for what's the T? Why is lonely here? Page of Swords wanting to flip. So someone here may be watching you, spying, trying to get some information on you. Why is lonely here? Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It could be someone who's younger. It doesn't have to be. I mean, lonely. Why is lonely here? Three to four single jumping cards, spirit, please. And thank you. Thank you. I'm so lonely. I don't know why that song always pops in my head. Queen of Wands. So it could be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This could be someone who's very confident, attractive, creative, gets a lot of attention, someone who's very strong. I'm also hearing athletic. Okay, four of wands. Okay, so this could be someone in your family. This could be someone you're married to. This could be someone you have a family with. Now you got the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Lonely. This could be like your sisters, your aunt, your cousins. Ten of Pentacles. You have a lot about family. There's abundance and passion here as well. Stability. Lonely. So this could also be how someone's seeing you. Because the Queen of Wands typically isn't like in the upright. She's not someone that's lonely. She's someone who's very creative, energetic, has, you know, has a lot of energy to go after things, create new things, excited about life. She usually is someone who's very like, you know, fun. She has a lot going on. In the Queen of Pentacles, she also has a lot going on. So in the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, someone here is... Maybe in a marriage, a very abundant marriage, and someone else could be lonely. Maybe they're looking in on you because we did have that page of swords. If this is you, someone, whoever's doing this, I don't know. Someone's looking at somebody and like seeing that they're happy. Four, four of wands are being celebrated. They're stable. They're grounded. They. This person could be a business owner, have some type of like family money or a business owner. Or someone who's married in a commitment. Someone here is very stable, energetic, creative. A good parent, a good spouse, okay? Uh, a mature businesswoman or man. 
And someone I feel like is watching with that page of swords, yeah, and the hermit. Someone may be like watching, investigating, looking into a situation and they're feeling lonely or feeling left out. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're feeling left out in the cold. Someone, thank you, Spirit, for clarifying my, you know, my intuition. All right, so poverty. Yeah, someone here is feeling left out in the cold. Maybe they don't have as much. This person could be homeless or they could have health problems, financial struggles at this time. Show me this player. Why is this player showing up in Pisces Read? The Page of Pentacles. So somebody may be wanting to come in and offer you something, something small. Could be a younger Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Does not have to be. Um, this person may also be wanting to send you a message. Keep in mind, guys, this could be past, present, and future. And I'm saying that just to highlight because we did just have Valentine's Day. So some of you guys, I'm sure, five of cups. Yeah, because they're feeling sad and regret. This player does regret something and they want to come in and offer you something. But with the two of pentacles, either this person is juggling or they're trying to balance something out in their life or they're wishy-washy or they're going back and forth. Okay, or they regret juggling, going back and forth, looking at other options, failing to recognize the two of cups still standing behind them. So the player is sad, wanting to offer you something. Or even the page of pentacles can even be an apology uh, for juggling, going back and forth, looking at other options. Now they see you as some type of wish fulfillment, nine of cups. They could also see you as someone who's very happy getting everything that you want. Give me one more on this player. So Page of Cups and the Queen of Swords. So yeah, this person wants to come in and whatever they're coming with, this person may want to like apologize, speak some type of truth about maybe Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person wants to come in and like offer you something, but whatever they're offering is very little. I do feel like they want to come in with some type of honesty. The Queen of Swords is someone who's very honest. This person could even want to apologize for being very cold and detached. Okay. Show me wasting time. Stuck, no changes, and oh, limited. Six of Swords. Wasting time, stuff, no changes, and limited. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you guys are moving on. If you guys are this Queen of Pentacles energy, man or woman, doesn't matter. I feel like you guys are moving on, focused on your business, focused on your finances. Um, because you feel like someone here hasn't changed. Ten of Swords in the reverse. You guys are like dropping some type of betrayal, escaping, getting away from something, learning from past hardships or, you know. The devil, yikes. Capricorn energy is here. Some of you guys are like obsessed with like letting something go, letting some type of betrayal go, moving on, focused on staying grounded, your stability, your abundance, your home, your family, whatever it is. Some of you guys may have a high social status as well. You guys are very generous. Okay. Somebody could be obsessed with your know, something. You guys could also just be moving on and focus on staying grounded, focused on your, your earthly matters, letting go of this harsh, painful ending because you deem something is like toxic. You know, you, you feel like something here is toxic and binding and you guys are determined to like let go of it because you feel like someone here isn't changing. Give me a couple more on this wasting time. You guys could also feel like someone has wasted too much time. Like if someone's trying to come in with something, some type of an offer, apology or whatever, it's like 
you guys probably aren't even waiting on it anymore. Yeah, you're not waiting on it. You're moving on because it probably doesn't matter anymore. Seven of Wands. Yeah, you guys are standing your ground. You guys are protecting yourselves. You guys may have set boundaries with this person as well. Wasting time. Queen of Cups. Yeah, you guys, it's you. You set boundaries with this person. You guys are very loving, nurturing, giving. Psychic, intuitive. You guys are using your intuition to set, you know, to stand your ground, set boundaries. Because you feel like something here is toxic and binding. You may feel like someone's controlling, abusive, arrogant, egotistical, materialistic, over hyper hypersexual, um, aggressive. Show me this dirty offer. Why is this here for Pisces? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This dirty offer for Pisces. Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Damn. Hey. Hmm. Tell me more. So off the bat, this looks like somebody trying to come in and offer some type of stability, commitment, loyalty, a proposal, uh, some type of large um, golden opportunity. Nine of Swords. Worry, Eight of Swords. Somebody's up in their head worried losing sleep at night about coming in with some type of truth here. So somebody, okay, so somebody may be trying to like smooth over the truth by offering something. This could be like commitment, uh, something in the material world because they're stressed out, worried about taking some type of a risk or taking a leap of faith, Aries energy. Magician, Virgo, Gemini. Someone's definitely trying to manifest you in, maybe with their mind, or they're trying to uh, think of some way to like, Turn things in their favor. The Wheel of Fortune. Someone may also be trying to offer you something. This is wicked. Somebody, this is weird. Okay. Somebody may be trying to offer you something like the Queen of, or not Queen of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Uh, King of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and the full card. Like, let me offer you some type of grand gesture. Like, let me come in with something big, large, a proposal, a gift, a commitment, a payout um, to turn things in my favor. It's like someone's trying to manifest some type of good karma by coming in. So, okay. So if somebody is going through, like, um, some type of, like, setbacks, delays due to some type of toxicity, or something that did that happened in the past, a betrayal that happened in the past because of some type of, you know, toxic energy, the devil energy. Devil's not always a bad card, so, you know, but in this case, I feel next to the Ten of Swords reverse, it's like someone's like fucked up ways did something that was very painful. Um, and I feel like you set boundaries and moved away from this situation. But you're still very loving and giving. It's like you didn't let something taint you. You didn't let it turn you bitter like Queen of Swords reverse. You're still the Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and man or woman, okay? But I feel like you have someone here who's trying to, like, come and offer you something to, like, manifest some type of good karma. So, therefore, it's technically, like, a dirty offer. It's like you can't, I don't know, I guess you probably could, but... I feel more so that what needs to happen here is take accountability. Someone may be haunted in their sleep or like having like they can't rest. So they're trying to manifest some type of good karma by coming in, like giving you something. Monetary, a dirty offer. Show me curious about you, but I feel like it's to save their 
their own destiny or their own ace of swords and the six of pentacles see that's the truth what i'm saying they're trying to come in and give you something gift you something give you some type of charity like you're a fucking charity case all right it, i feel like is what needs to be done is someone needs to come in with honesty and integrity Getting like that Bible scripture, stand for anything or, or stand for something or fall for anything or something like that. It's almost like somebody's trying to like right their wrongs by giving you something rather than taking accountability or um, changing themselves or trying to fix the problem, you know, but it's almost, I don't know. I'm not going to. Show me curious about you for Pisces. Nine of Cups, Pisces energy in the lower arcana. Someone here is curious about you because they see you Nine of Cups in the Empress. Damn. Damn. All right. Someone here sees you as like wish fulfillment, the Empress, someone who's very abundant, nurturing. Some of you guys could be mothers or just very fertile. You guys could um, have a lot of new ideas. Things could be growing around you. Everything you touch turns to gold. You guys are happy and someone's curious about you. Who is this that's curious about Pisces? This could be someone new. Okay. The world reversed. Okay. I spoke too soon. This is someone who feels like something's not over. Three cups. And they want to like come in and celebrate with you, reconcile with you, work together with you, teamwork. Hoorah. I don't even know where that came from. Maybe someone's in the military. Okay. Anyway. Uh, am I missing a card? Give me one more. Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords? Ten of Cups. Somebody feels like something's not over. So now the Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups, somebody wants to come in and like have some type of breakthrough, speak some type of truth, that you are their happiness, you are their Ten of Cups, that they want marriage, da, 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 that they love you oh so much, you're my King of Cups to my Queen of Cups, or you're my Queen of Cups to my King of Cups, or... Okay, or maybe this is a new soulmate coming in, but this world card in the reverse, literally, what is the world card in the reverse? And three of cups can talk about a reconciliation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Three of cups, two of swords. Somebody may cut, be coming back saying, I had rose colored glasses on when I walked away from you or when I, uh, I don't know. What is the world card in the reverse, please? Five of Wands. Okay. Um, someone may be actually coming in to like fight for this situation. The lover's card, because they feel like you're their soulmate. This is someone who put you in competition with other people, though. I'm just gonna tell you that. So okay, whatever. Um, to be in the lovers on the bottom of the temperance card. Yeah. Someone feels like this is like spiritually ordained, or this is like soulmate life partner. Um, like this is a spiritual connection. I want to heal this, this soulmate connection. I just did a reading and I, yeah, I just did a reading 
And I shit you not, when I do your guys' Pisces readings, I take little breaks in between. I'm going to go through and do all signs right now, like Pisces dealing with each individual sign. Um, those will be coming up this weekend. But um, anyways, um, the energy, it doesn't matter if I use different decks. It's like the energy is the energy, you know? Um, and I can't, I can use different decks, but the story is like, com like almost freaking the same, you know? But like a, a different side of the coin or a different... I don't know, layout or whatever. You guys that follow, I don't really rewatch my readings, but I realize once I get to the end, I'm like, this is kind of like what I just was saying in the other reading, but in a different format, kind of. And so I kind of feel like this is the situation again. Some of you guys were dealing with a freaking player who put you in competition with other lovers, had you competing for their love, okay? And now they see you as like, the queen of Pent or queen of pentacles, queen of wands, queen of cups, the empress or man or woman flip the roles guys as someone who's very powerful. And now it's like, they see you as stop it, please. This person's stressed out. It's like, they're trying to manifest the wheel. Like literally they're trying to manifest the wheel. It's like, they're trying to manifest some type of change in fortune, change in fate. Like they're trying to like create this, uh, this positive change. So that's kind of good. Okay. Dirty offer. King of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. There's nothing really dirty about this. Maybe this is someone who gave you a dirty offer in the past. Okay. This is literally manifesting change. I didn't quite catch that in the beginning. But um, the full card. Nine of Swords. They're, they're stressed out over this. Taking a leap towards you to offer you something. This, could, this player may have been someone who gave you very little in the past and now they regret it this person was cold to you they didn't give you very much emotions they didn't give you very much time energy resources whatever it is effort okay period now they regret it because they see that you're abundant and stable self-sufficient on your own you're very attractive you're getting a lot of attention and now you set up boundaries and you've let go of this person it's like now they're obsessed with you now they're stressed out about how they can come in and offer you something. This person, this dirty offer may have been in the past, guys, because there's nothing really dirty. That This literally means manifesting change. And if this person is ready to, like, come in and fight for you and, like I was saying previously, this is some cycle that either they feel like isn't over or, um, or that literally is not over, okay? But... With this Ace of Swords, it's like someone here has gotten clarity that this is their Ten of Cups, their, their, their King of Cups to their Queen of Cups. This is like their soulmate connection. And they want to reconcile and celebrate because they see you very abundant. So this is almost, you know, take this as you will, guys. But this is someone who almost like didn't see your worth until you leveled up. Now that you leveled up, it's like, oh, now they see your worth. So... I don't know if you want to call that love or not. Personally, I don't, but the Ten of Cups is here. So maybe this could be someone you have a family with. This could be someone you share, you were married to or are, you know, or someone that wants to come in and get married or something to that nature. Because I do have that proposal type energy, King, Queen of Pentacles there again. So it's like, I don't know. If you were broke, busted and disgusted, this person probably, I don't think that they would see you this way, but I don't know, in today's society, I guess true love like that doesn't really exist. Maybe it does. Not in this country, though. But whatever. You know, you think about it, you go to like a foreign country or something where, you know, there's a lot of other things. It's like people tend to love people for the person who they are, not for monetary and what they have to show and give and all that other extra shit you know because the world is such chaos but here in america people take that shit for granted and they they look at people as like beacon symbols of success or something i don't know whatever that's my personal opinion but do what you want with this i feel like the player is now lonely this person may have been, they may, this may have been a long time. Like this person may have wasted a lot of time. And I feel like you may have moved on. You've already let go of this betrayal. 
you're financially stable, you're doing well, and now someone's like tripping on you, obsessed over you. This person may have also neglected their children, okay? Because I can't help but keep seeing this on the bottom of the deck. I seen it earlier and I didn't say nothing. But bad parenting, scared of, hates parent, and then scarcity tactics, enforcer, and child services. Yeah, so there could be children here involved or maybe someone who neglected their children because they wanted to be a player. Man or woman, doesn't matter. Women could be players too, you know. But now someone's sitting here lonely, and I'm saying that because I see a woman who's lonely and I see a player playing. Maybe you were the feminine and you were lonely while this person played the field. Gave you some type of dirty offer. I don't know. Could go so many different ways, guys. Take the rules. But compared to, like, the end of this reading, whoever this is is curious about you. The only reason I feel like this curious about you is a past person because the world reversed. Whoever this person is, though, they're coming in very loving, nurturing, honest, truthful, wanting to work together. Maybe wanting to celebrate with you and be careful because they could see you as wish fulfillment, this empress, you know, someone who has a lot to give. But I just, I just, all right. Um, I was going to say, what is your advice? Um, what is Pisces advice? I feel like use discernment. Don't jump in, into anything too quick. Take your time. What is Pisces energy? I mean, what is Pisces um, advice? What is Pisces advice? Give me three cards. The devil. Really? Pisces advice. The star card and the eight of cups. Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces energy. Your advice? Oh. Hey, Pisces, well, maybe walk away from this situation. Leave this situation hanging. You're someone who's very enlightened. You got star qualities. You're a healer or have some type of... You're someone who's very enlightened. And I feel like someone's obsessed with you or someone here is still straight up toxic. Like, the devil came out twice in the upright. So, this person may have wasted too much time and a low vibrational energy. Maybe this person is like straight dirty. I'm just saying, ooh, that could be why dirty offer is here. Be careful, Pisces. Like if they're still in this toxic energy, but they're trying to like change, there may be something that's not changeable. Hmm. Implement your COVID guidelines with this person. Six feet and wear a mask. Just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Um, yeah, well, you know, like I said, take your time with this person. Make sure you get a, you know, bill of health before you. Uh... The spirit is saying walk away and leave this situation hanging. There's a star here. I feel like you guys are very enlightened. You guys, this person may need your healing energy. Or that maybe that's why they're coming towards you. But, I don't know. Judgment. Yeah, use discernment. Judgment talks about learning from past lessons. So, I feel like you guys are on your pathway. Make good decisions when it comes to this. Use discernment. Why is the hangman here? I don't, know. I don't even know why I'm asking. The advice is the advice. Walk away. Look towards your future. You have a you have an abundant future ahead of you. Okay? You have an abundant future ahead of you. Walk away from these eight cups and go towards your nine of cups, which I already feel like you're in your nine of cups. But this is your advice. <sighs> yeah, you have an abundant, abundant of future. Whatever. There goes my language. I'm going to leave this reading here. If it helped give you guys clarity, uh, let me know. Um... I love you guys so much. Smash that thumbs up button for me and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.